morning. So today is the 3rd of April and usually at half past eight in the morning I would be just starting work and I am starting work but not my usual day job. So this weekend I was supposed to be going to Budapest to see my brother um, with some mates from home, from here where I live. Um, obviously that's got cancelled because of the lockdown. So I decided to keep the days off instead. And what I'm doing today is I'm having a full day's work, but it's a full day's work of music. I vlog all day, on and off. Um, and then what you'll see in the rest of this video is my day. So, welcome. Something a bit different. Hope you enjoy it. And I'll see you on the other side. Thanks a lot. One of the things that I'm doing is I'm working through some YouTube videos with a refresher of my grade five theory. So Sharon Bill has got a great YouTube channel with step-by-step -step of everything in the grade five theory. So if I put these to one side, this is the official book that, you, that you're learning when you're doing your grade five theory, which is what I used. So it's got all of my notes and, you know, where I've got things right when I've been doing them in my lessons. Um, I had this cool old lady that used to teach me. No idea what she was called now. She's probably dead, it was years and years ago. Um, but if she's still alive, bless her, she was, she was great. I hope she still is, because she was a lovely lady. Anyway, the point is, each of these videos talks you through part in the book. So, first up on today is music theory. Doing about the 10 o'clock at the minute, which I don't use. Um, ten o the 10 o'clock is for cellos, bassoons, and tenor trombones. I don't play any of those. So I'm trying to learn, trying to remind myself where everything is. And I'm doing all of this because understanding the theory helps with composition. Um, composition is needed for soundtracks, which is what I'm looking to get into. Um, video game soundtracks, movie soundtracks, TV, short films, um, stuff like that. So, got to go over the basics. It's 20 past 10. Done a couple of hours of theory. Time to come over, do some practical stuff. So I thought we'd start by giving you a quick tour of my home studio. Or at least the main part of it anyway. So this is my studio desk, which was handmade out of a pallet. You've seen that on a video before. So I've got my trumpet wall over here. Uh, anybody who follows me on Instagram, you will have seen that picture. And then down here is the engine room. You will have seen previously videos that I've done and photos that I've done where I have the Akai MPK Mini, a short 25 key, two octave keyboard, which was around about here. I wanted something that was bigger because I wanted to be able to properly play keyboard, properly play piano. Um, this isn't a full 88 key, this is 61 keys, so this is 5 octaves, um, but it's perfectly fine for what I need. When I'm using the Model D, I can use these to control the volume and other stuff. Uh, obviously it's got the, 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 the rolly wheels there, and the 8 pads, which are perfect. I can have another octave up or down if I want, but you know I've got 5 octaves here, which is 
which is plenty for me. And these are sensitive keys as well. So it's, it's perfect. And there you go. So now what I'm going to be doing is playing around with some ideas for a video game soundtrack concept that I'm working on. Okay, so I'm done with the soundtrack stuff for now. Um, I'm now going to do some practice. So next up is piano lessons. Let's give it a go. I'm not used to the bass cliff, so this is quite hard for me. proof of concept today on what a possible life would be like if I was a full-time composer. Today is a very, a very, very cool way of testing it. Um, definitely gives me a glimpse into the future about what, what it could be like. 